How's it going, you guys? So welcome to week 54 of In K-Pop News, where I get you caught up in the week's news in K-Pop every single Friday. So, without further ado, let's get into the week's news in K-Pop. Now, the first story I want to do is an update on T.O.P. and his condition at the moment. So, a quick rundown if you don't know. Uh, after being discharged from the military for being charged for using marijuana, T.O.P. overdosed on a tranquilizer and sleep sedative that he was prescribed that he's been taking for a while now. But he overdid it and was soon rushed to the hospital because he was unresponsive and in a deep sleep. He was in the hospital for about two or three days. Then he woke up and reports saying he was walking around his hospital room and he was responding to everyone and he was talking a little bit. Fast forward to today where T.O.P. was released from the hospital but transferred to another hospital to begin psychological therapy and have a private room there. Now at the moment he is said to be in healthy condition with no repercussions from the incident. Praise to God. And um yeah, that's where we are at now. Uh, I don't want to talk about the hearing that he's going to have. We just need to focus on his well-being and getting him back to being healthy again. That's what really matters. The reports and everyone pushing the the date of his hearing of his charges is just heartless. When someone needs to recover and who isn't fully recovered and subsequently probably did this from stress... You're just adding more stress on top of that, and it's not going to help anybody. Not going to help anyone. But I'm glad T.O.P. is safe and sound, and um, hope he takes all the time he needs to recover. Stay strong, T.O.P. In your area, news, Blackpink have been busy working on their comeback. Blackpink has been busy filming their music video over the past couple weeks and finalizing their promotion plans. And Papa YG himself teased the comeback with a behind the scenes shoot of the MV shooting. And Jenny, you looking gorgeous girl. Mm. Can't wait for Blackpink man. What? Why can't Blackpink always be in my area? Come on, I don't have personal space. Blackpink can be anywhere. I don't care as long as I can hear them, see them. And just, just fanboy in general. You know, that's that's all I ask for. Come on, can th can that not be a human right, please? In comeback news, new reports claim that veteran SM group Super Junior will come back in October. The source claimed that Super Junior will either come back in October or early November at the latest. Sadly, of course, it won't be a full member comeback, but always welcoming a Super Junior comeback, man. Legends, respect, legends, boys. It's been a long time since. Oh, he chewed! Ah, uh, man. Um, I hope my kids don't see this in the future. Oh, I'm gonna have the story to explain. <laughs> In comeback news, NCT 127 has been dropping bombs. Cherry bombs, that is. Because NCT will be coming back with a release called Cherry Bomb. And there are tons of teaser photos with splashes of color and fangirling material. I mean, you guys already know who it is. NCT 127's third mini album, Cherry Bomb, will be released on the 14th. In comeback news, who? Monster X! Man, that's gotta be one of the most jarring like intros. Like you're just you're you're on the music show, like you're the host. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, Monster X. Who? God damn. <laughs> no, just me. Alright, well, that was a terrible joke. Monster X will be making a comeback. Monster X will be making a comeback with a repackaged album called Shine Forever. And it's looking good from the teaser images of the boys in casual wear. I mean, come on man. Uh, how can it go wrong? It's impossible. So you better get ready for Monster X on the 19th. It's, uh, um, it's the 19th. And you already know. I said Mama Mama Moo. News? That's right. Mama Moo are indeed making their way back into our hearts. With this, their fifth mini album titled Purple. And just look at the members. Oh! Fabulous! Moon Sun rise! Rise up into the sky! Queen and Wasa, oh my god, just, just no, just no! I mean yes, but no! And... Yes and no, okay? 
Can Mama Moo just step on me and call me what I am, trash, and 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 end my sorry life? You know. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Um. <clears throat> Mama Moo will indeed slay when they come back on the 22nd. And now speed round, where I could throw as many K-pop stories as fast as possible. So let's go. SM planned for a big second half of the year as reports claim that NCT 127, Red Velvet, EXO, Girls' Generation, Super Junior, and SHINee will be making a comeback this year. Nine Muses teased their identity comeback with individual members teasers. Nine Muses is set to come back on the 19th. Tiara uploaded their second MV teaser for What's My Name, with the members coming together beautifully. Tiara will be back on the 14th. Kyung Sung, former member of Beast, will be making a solo comeback. An insider said that he will be making a comeback as a solo artist in early July. Fantasia's new girl group is finally revealed. Three VF Live, Yoo Jung introduced members So Jung, Su Kyung, and Hye Rin. Then, in another live stream, Do Young introduced members Kyo Jung, So Eun, and So Young. Stage names were soon also said to be Se, Lua, Eddie, Lucy, and Nina. No debut date yet. But anyways guys, that is it for this week in K-pop news. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give this video a like. Check out my other in K-pop news videos over there so you can get some of that K-pop knowledge. Also, comment any opinions on any of the topics I talk about today. Let's start a conversation down in the comments. Also, share this video with others so they can get some of that K-pop knowledge as well. Also, like and all that jazz. Any activity on a YouTube video depicts how successful it will be. Thanks for that, YouTube. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.